Hello, so now we're going into my record collection once again. So these are some new records I got. So first one, we have Ooh Rap Aya by George Clanton, which is a really good album. Um, it's kind of grown off me a bit, but I still like it. I think it's probably, his, it's definitely one of his best releases. I don't think it's as good as Slide, but I still think it's quite good. Um, it's a very fun rap record, chill wave and psychedelia, all this other stuff. It's really good. He's definitely one of the most interesting artists in the chill wave genre, in my opinion, so. That one was still quite great. <clears throat> Probably need to get Slide at some point. That album, I actually listen to that album a lot more. Slide's really good. Anyways, this one is Okabara Chore by Novos Beanos. They're a Brazilian MPB and uh, pop, psychedelic pop group from the 70s. I really like this album. It's probably my second favorite, at least from Brazil, after Club de Esquina. It's like a dual cyan and yellow thing. They speak Portuguese. It's not in English. It's in Portuguese, but I still really, really love this album. Very fun, has a lot of progressive builds, and it's just a really unique, very influential, and very fun record. I really love it. Next up, we have The Lamb as Effigy by Sprain. Um, this is, um, I'd say this is probably in my top ten of the, of the year so far. Um, I really love this album. Um, I really love the kind of noise rock scene that's kind of been poking its head out. With groups like Daughters and groups like Model Actress and Chat Pile and now Spring. Um, I really, really love that kind of sound that's been going on. This album is quite long. It's an hour and 30 minutes. It kind of reminds me a bit of um, Glenn Bracca mixed with like 2010's era Swans, kind of. So it kind of reminds me of a bit. Just with the totalism, no wave, and the uh, classical kind of themes on it. Also, it comes with these things. I think this is, I don't know. <laughs> oh. oh, my bad. Something in my throat. Hope that didn't sound nasty. Probably did. Okay. Anyways, next we have The Age of Odds by Sufian Su uh, <clears throat> by mm, Sufian Stevens. I finally pronounced his name right. Sufian Fire with Fire. Nah, that's how I figured it out. I don't know, I feel like a lot of people probably pronounce his name wrong by accident. But this is my third favorite release he did, but it has my favorite song he did, Impossible Soul, on it. I'll probably just take out the first record because all the labels kind of look the same, except it just has the letters on it. Um, there's also one of his most underrated songs off of this that I think deserves some more love because I think it's a really beautiful song, but barely anyone talks about it. It is Now That I'm Older. I, I don't know. I think that song is really, really pretty and beautiful. I would honestly say it's one of my favorites off the album. It kind of puts you in a trance by how beautiful it is, kind of, at least for me. But Impossible Soul is definitely my favorite off of it, though. And last one, we have Polygon Wanna Land by King Gizzard and Lizard, which are Wizard, which is my third favorite release they've done and my favorite of their 2017 releases. There's this poster kind of hang up works on the back. This is, has a very futuristic kind of sound um, with some electronics, a very spacey, psychedelic sound with a bit of a cyberpunk kind of feel. I really like the look of the record. It's probably one of the coolest looking records I think I've gotten. And uh, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.